What's going on, YouTubers? I'm Wrestling Guy Bitch. These are my wrestling thoughts. This is what I like to call a superstar evaluation. I will be today evaluating WWE superstar CM Punk. I'm going to take you through his entire career and my feelings for them. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Before he was in the WWE, I heard of him. And I uh, watched a few of his videos a few of his matches on YouTube, and I was impressed. Uh, I actually uh, kept saying for years, WWE needs to sign this guy. And uh, finally, in 2006, he showed up on ECW, and I was ecstatic. Um, he debuted, uh, and right away he was in a uh, storyline, and did really good. Uh, he, he was awesome. Uh, he was one of my favorite superstars when he first debuted. Um, but then they just... I don't know, he just started winning everything, like, uh, I started winning the ECW title, Money in the Bank, World Heavyweight title, uh, Tag Team title, WWE title, just kept winning and winning and winning, and I got to the point where I was just kind of tired of seeing CM Punk, and then he finally, I, I didn't like him before he went heel, and then, uh, he went heel, and then I really didn't like him, not only did I not like him, I didn't care for him anymore, because, uh, it's exactly what CM Punk said. WWE turned him in somebody that he never was nor ever planned on being. He wasn't the CM Punk that uh, I grew to like. And um, finally, he came out. Like, I didn't like him up until he came out with that promo. came out with the promo, um, for those of you who don't know, the reason why I gave that look back there is because my girlfriend just sprayed her stupid perfume on my socks. You smell like dance party. But, um, anyway, uh, he did the promo, the promo, I don't have to say which one it is, and I was like, wow, finally, things that I've always wanted to say to the WWE, CM Punk just said. And, uh, Right then and there, he became, like, my favorite dude in the WWE, and, uh, I gotta be honest, I didn't think he was gonna win the WWE Championship match, because that's how WWE works. They say, oh, I'm leaving, and I'm leaving with the WWE Championship, but they never usually leave with the WWE Championship, and he won and left, and I was just like, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, now it brings me to the present. I feel the WWE is lacking a bit with direction with CM Punk. Like, I know he's the champion and everything, but I feel like he's not being able to say what he wants on the mic anymore. Like, he barely talks on the mic anymore. Well, um, or he talks on the mic, but, you know, for a little while there, he was doing that thing, oh, I'm the guy who tells it how it is, and he really told it how it was, but it's not, it hasn't been like that lately. And uh, I think, you know, WWE is lacking in that direction. Um, I honestly believe that they just need to give CM Punk the microphone and let him say whatever. Well, I mean, why have a script when you have CM Punk, right? That's my saying. That's my motto. And uh, here's... And that's pretty much all I have to say about CM Punk. Now, I'm going to rate him. <laughs> out of out of five stars, I'll give CM Punk. And my answer is not on just CM Punk. It's how WWE makes him look completely. And because of that, if CM Punk were just allowed to walk out and say whatever he want, I would give him five stars straight up because that's how I think. CM Punk is a superstar by himself. Five stars, hands down. But CM Punk, as a superstar in the WWE, this is WWE's fault. I gotta give him a four. Um, so, that's my rating on CM Punk, and uh, that was my WWE superstar evaluation on CM Punk. Thanks, guys, for listening. Have a good day.